All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So someone asked me uh, how well does LR Trunks perform and if I could do sort of a, an LR Trunks on a, you know, Super Saiyan category team showcase. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to use LR Trunks on the Super Saiyan category team. Now, really, like, before we even jump into it, does he work here well? Yes. Is he going to dominate on this team? Yes. Like, LR Trunks is going to be outstanding here because he has his best friend uh anytime you can get lr trunks on a rotation with the eza rage trunks lr trunks will be able to perform at a high level it's just that simple like he, he's going to be able to do uh very very high amounts of damage okay this is going to work out pretty well uh because all i have to do is push eza rage trunks off rotation right here and then very quickly uh we're gonna have uh our boy yeah yeah on rotation with uh the eza trunks not bad not bad now, this team is going to be very, very strong. Um, like, you know, if you're a global player wondering if you should summon for this Goku, I mean, certainly it's something that's going to be really nice, right? Uh, being able to run, like, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly on the team, being able to run the new LR Tech Broly on global, uh, he's going to be coming to JP very soon here. Uh, like, that's, it, it's just, it's, it's big. Like, you could use a lot of really good units. Uh, all the Vegito and Gogeta, like, Super Saiyan 1 fusions are on here, so... You know, Int, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, LR Vegito is on here, uh, Physical Super Vegito, AGL Super Vegito, you know, Int Gogeta, SCR Gogeta, Blue Gogeta, like, they're all on here. Uh, and then, in order to be a part of the Super Saiyan category team, it's really just dependent on if a unit has, uh, like, if they take Super Saiyan 1 at any point during their card. Uh, that's all it takes for them really to be able to get put onto the Super Saiyan category team, right? So even, you know, like Transforming Goku and Transforming Vegeta, they are on here. Those units are going to be interesting, the Transforming cards, in that, you know, like, if, you know, if we ever get a Super Saiyan 2 category, they'll be on it. You know, a Super Saiyan, I, I, I've, I've said several times, I think a Super Saiyan God category would work rather well. Uh, you know, which would include Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and Super Saiyan Rosé. I think that could be a pretty hype category. Right now, there's not a ton of options there, but like, you know, what what could be the leader for the team? Maybe like an LR Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta or something like that from the Broly movie? That could be an interesting sort of leader for that team. You know, all the Super Saiyan gods for Goku and Vegeta. Again, the Rosé. Rosé would work on that team, although, you know, he'd be giving like key to extreme types, which wouldn't really help out too much, right? But that still, I think, would be an interesting team. Uh, funny enough, even though, like, it seems so good on paper, it definitely would need some additions made to it, huh? Because, like, you know, there's Evolution Blue Vegeta, who's fantastic, but, like, we don't really have, like, an, an A1 Super Saiyan Blue Goku as of right now. I mean, that would not be very difficult to accomplish, though, because, uh, you know, when Blue Kaioken gets his EZA, he's going to be very, very impressive. Uh, all right, so on this team, I mean, <laughs> as you guys can see, on this team, like, in this sort of setting... Uh, it's gonna be super easy for LR Trunks to get, like, freaking maximum key here. Uh, EZA Rage Trunks links up tremendously well with him. Uh, we have Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh, as a floater. Now, Broly is going to work incredibly well with LR Trunks because he shares both Prepare for Battle and Shocking Speed. And LR Trunks gets up to 3.28 million, which is very good, considering he has a 50% chance to inflict a crit right there. So, a lot of, oh, ho, ho, and then there's that 20 additional I gave him. Uh, really stepping into play and then boop goodbye my boy so yeah uh, lr trunks is going to be capable of dominating on this category team i, I think he's going to be an incredibly strong unit uh that you can go ahead and rock see like that that's the thing like these are the are the good types of like leaders and dokkan events for people to summon for uh you know like this uh scr namek goku because like, so many times, uh, you know, global players and players are, like, thinking of, like, okay, you know, gotta save for, like, you know, fusions, right? Like, oh, physical Vegito's on the banner, I'll summon. You know, AGL Super Vegito's on the banner, I'll summon. You know, back in the day, SCR Gogeta is on the banner, I'll summon. Like, all those times where people wanted to save for those specific types of banners are now going to pay off for this team where it's just full of these types of units, right? And then even like this, like... A blue Gogeta and then uh, SCR EZA Gogeta rotation. It's just, like, it's just silly. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's pure insanity right there is exactly what that is. Uh, okay, and then, again, like, running the team in this way uh, is it, just going to give maximum benefit to LR Trunks. Because 
you know, we already talked about how this Broly has both Prepare for Battle and Shocking Speed, but this Goku also has Prepare for Battle and Shocking Speed. So, uh, LR Trunks is going to be getting four key from all three of the floaters uh, from running the team in this manner. So, it's just going to work out very, very good. So, uh, this is definitely a team build uh, that can get the job done. See, back-to-back -back rotations, we got LR Trunks to 23 key. Uh, okay, good. EZA Trunks can get a super attack off. Of course, him being in the first slot and supering first, uh, he is going to give a moderate attack buff to LR Trunks, right? So that LR Trunks uh, will be able to get... Oh, I gave that uh, EZA Rage Trunks 15 dodge, by the way. And then there he is, 3.28 million again. And again, he has a 50% chance to crit from his passive. That's really big damage. And then the additionals, 20 additional. Uh, they like to... When you give him 20 additional... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very common that you're going to see them actually bust that out. That's not bad. Oh, it looks like we're actually not going to finish Goku off this rotation. Okay, sure. Uh, the only thing I'll say with this team and this team build is that you are not going to see Goku's transformation in Dokkan events like Super Saiyan Goku. In order to fall below 70% HP, it's just not going to happen very often. Uh, all of these fusions and Broly and LR Trunks, like, these units are all just way, way too powerful. Oh, wow, he actually stunned Blue Gogeta, but guess what? SCR Gogeta, effective against all types. Go ahead and sit down. Um, I guess we'll we'll do one more run. Let me uh, switch up the team quite a bit, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see how Trunks works in, like, sort of another, still Super Saiyan category team, but just sort of like a different build, right? And we'll see how well Trunks is still working there. All right, guys, so we'll hop into another event. Uh, still rocking the Super Saiyan category team. I'm not really using any Namek Saga uh, category units. I mean, really, the only one you could use that would actually help Trunks, I guess, is the physical LR Ginyu. Uh, they only give a, what, 7,777 uh, flat number attack buff, which isn't great, but they do give three key. Uh, three key for an LR of LR Trunks' caliber is something that is always going to be good. So, you know, you could do that. Uh, of course, you know, there, there's just a lot of different variations you could run. Uh, the Namek Saga... Notice how fast that screen moves now, by the way. <laughs> and you could just, like, hammer through it. I did also bring AGL Super Vegito. Uh, this is a unit... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, we'll, we'll let AGL Super Vegito have a little bit of fun. Why not? Uh, we'll also get to see what LR Trunks is capable of doing without EZA Raid Trunks on rotation. And I brought EZA uh, Goten. Uh, I've been standing Goten for a very long time. And now that uh, LR Gohan and Goten have arrived on Global, everyone knows just how good that EZA Goten is. He's fantastic. And AGL Super Vegito, bro, we are very, very soon to AGL Super Vegito getting the crown again. Wow, don't you dare. Come on, I didn't actually think... <laughs> I didn't think he was going to finish Goku. Don't crit. Do not crit. Do not crit. Do not... Wow. <laughs> uh, that's... Yeah. So... <laughs> That's what AGL Super Vegito is capable of. Uh, because remember, okay, so, like, looking at the first slot right there, the way that Kaioken Goku is attacking the first slot, uh, you know, before the unit would attack, uh, we, you know, we did make the discovery that uh, that affects the chances of an additional. So, you know, if Vegito, you know, gets, I don't know, two, three, four, five, six counters before he super attacks, that's going to dramatically raise his chances of an additional super attack. And then, you know, he gives the attack buff on super attacks, so he gets additional super attacks, and it just leads to a lot of extra damage on the rotation. Uh, I, I think chances are very high, I I'm saying very high, that Super Vegito becomes the best TUR in Dokkan. Uh, after he gets his EZA. Like, I, that's not a stretch. No one no one is sitting here thinking like, oh, yeah, AGL Super Vegito, his uh, EZA is going to be underwhelming. Like, no, we, we all know what's going to happen. I would actually not be surprised if they finish up all the other 100% uh, demigod leaders and the 70% god leaders, except for Vegito, and then they, uh, they EZA, like, merge Zamasu or Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Chunks uh, before they, uh, easy a, <laughs> uh, Super Vegito. I would not be shocked to see that happen because, like, you gotta understand, they have, they have to do almost nothing to Vegito to turn him into, like, the best unit in the game. Like, well, I, I say best TUR in the game, right? Like, most of the time, 
uh, you're not going to be able to do better uh, than which uh like summonable LRs. Like like Vegito, I don't think it's going to be able to outperform like you know LR Goku and Frieza in terms of damage or some, something like that, or you know perform the uh, outperform the LR Super Saiyan fours. I mean we'll see. But remember, I, I like defense and offense together. So uh, that's the thing. Like if Vegito gets any sort of defensive buff, oh boy, does he become crazy. Now, the main reason I hopped into the new SCR Namek Saga Goku event uh, is for this reason right here. It's it's a, an SCR event. Yep, look how good Easy A Rage Trunks is, dude. Now, this Goku dramatically... He gets a huge strength buff after he goes into his Rage fo uh, form. So, it'll be interesting to see how well uh, the two... Wow. Yep, 15 dodge. People tell me that dodge is pointless. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> Whatever you say. 3.35 million. Pretty good. Uh, LR Trunks gets the crit. This does insane damage to this Goku. Yep, look at that. 2.13 million additional super attack. LR Trunks is good, man. Especially, I, I always recommend to people max out his additional too. Because, like, my LR Trunks, he just gets additionals out the ass. Like, pretty much constantly. It's just additional supers are what we see from that LR Trunks. Uh, okay, so now Goku uh, goes ahead and transforms into his rage form. Uh, he's going to start doing a super crazy high amount of damage, by the way. So, I am going to want to be a little bit cautious here. Especially with Int Gogeta. Uh, Int Gogeta actually could get uh, hit hard enough to where, you know, it could be a bit scary. I do want to save up some key for LR Trunks. Ooh, yeah. All those Int-type orbs. That will be very... Oh, that's... Oh! Hmm. Actually, all those physical-type orbs as well. Uh, yeah. Look, so, that, yeah, very impressive by this Goku. Not even transformed. And, you know, he's able to get up to a 2 million attack set. His defense in traditional Dokkan events, I think this Goku, his defense will be higher in his base form than it will be when he transforms. Because he stacks his defense once he transforms. So, if you're not going to have a lot of turns with him transformed, he's not really going to be able to build up his defense the way he can. Yeah, look at that. 36k! That's a huge number. This is where uh, Int Gogeta has aged a bit in that, you know, he's not defensively up to snuff with a lot of other units. Uh, we take 200k damage right there is a huge number. So, uh, honestly, if if Goku would super attack again uh, one of these Trunkses, we could potentially die here. I mean, both Trunkses have very good defense, but still, uh, we could take a, a significant chunk of our health. Oh! I can activate the rage mode. <laughs> I kind of want to. Let me activate the rage mode. That's not something I get to see very often. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me just bust out the rage mode real quick. It's always fun, right? This is a part of the Super Saiyan category cream. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and then Goku creates uh, some rainbow orbs, so it does become relatively easy. Uh, let me not get those physical type orbs, though. But it does become relatively easy for Goku uh, to super attack. Uh, even in his rage mode because he creates uh, rainbow type orbs. Uh, he does have a couple of different super attack animations as well. Boom! You gotta love how good these animations look, man. It just makes me excited for every new unit that's gonna come out because their animations are going to look spectacular. Just very, very good. Uh, I, I think I'm, I might like this one better than his uh, higher uh, attack. Like, like, I, I like that one better than the first one he did. I don't know. Because just because it's like another Kamehameha. Like, you know, we've seen infinite amounts of Kamehamehas in this game. Like, I do kind of like just like these like physical attack combos. Like, I really like uh, in Super Vegeta, his super attack, right? So, all right. Only last one turn. Uh, so, this is good. I will... We'll do this. And now LR Trunks is off to the races, my boy. This is going to heal us up a nice amount, too. Yeah, yeah. That extra healing will probably be enough for us to survive, even if uh, one of the two Trunkses gets super attacked. Uh, wow, he's actually taking damage right there. Let me see how much he takes. Could we die here? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, this Goku could do a lot of damage. Yeah, we did. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. Oh, well, we're going to. But okay, yeah, yeah. So there we go. This Goku is very, very hard. It's been... We're just going to die. <laughs> it has been a long time since your boy actually died on a Dokkan event. Um, so I guess that was more of a consequence of me using Int Gogeta, who gets hit very hard here, along with using the physical trunks rotation. I mean, here's the thing. 
they're good enough to get you through this anyway. Like, it's only because I held back a little bit with team building. I, I won't I won't use this stone here. But it's only because I held back a little bit with the team building, right? Like, I wanted to not use, like, crazy units and stuff like that. And no way I was going to use an item there. But this trunks, this rotation is going to work. Like, even against STR events, like, you know, uh, it's not going to work, you know, in, like, the Legendary Goku event on the STR UI Goku phase, right? But in all the other, like, events and stuff like that, it's going to work. It works fantastic on Dokkan Battlefield. It'll work good in EZAs where the enemy is weak to physical-type units. You know, it's going to be good pretty much everywhere. Like, like it's just a very strong rotation. Uh, LR Trunks has aged pretty well. Uh, him, like, he doesn't have a defensive buff from his passive. But the fact that he does raise his defense on Super Attack does help him quite a bit. Uh, that allows him to defend at a reasonable rate. Uh, even a lot of difficult events. Plus, LR Trunks does have a ridiculously high defensive stat, which allows him to make do. So, you know, all of this together has led LR Trunks... I mean, I guess I would say he's aged better than, like, LR Majin Vegeta, because LR Majin Vegeta has no defense whatsoever, right? Uh, although LR Trunks... I mean, before EZA Rage Trunks became a thing, Majin Vegeta supered easier. But, like, now, like, if you've got this guy anywhere near that LR Trunks, it's just guaranteed 18 key super attacks. So, that's, like, a big reason this guy is going to work so well on the Super Saiyan category team uh, is because of the fact he got the EZA Rage Trunks there. So, let me know what you guys think of uh, LR Trunks, EZA Rage Trunks. Here, this, of course, is the Planet Namek slash uh, Super Saiyan category. Here's what the strongest units in the category look like. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch y'all next time.